All right, so since we have the settings panel open, I'm gonna show you a couple other features here that you'll want to uh, know about Tournament Indicator. Find new games automatically. That means the software is going to attach itself to any open table that you're sitting at. And uh, I always leave that clicked on because it just makes life easier. Moving with the game table automatically, horizontal view. That means if I shift this around anywhere on my screen, Tournament Indicator is going to follow it. And if you're positioning a few games, that's really helpful. The four color deck means that your cards and the community cards here come in different colors so that you can easily spot the suits. That's independent of the four color feature that your poker site may have. These are for mini or vertical view modes and I'll show you those in a bit. Show my whole cards after fold. That means that these are displayed after you fold it out and I always like to leave those on because sometimes you're watching a hand and you forgot what you were holding. And here is close tournament indicator uh, when a game table is closed. Ace-9, early position, I'm just going to throw that away. And this is a good reminder here to go to the odd section or to go to the hand strength section. And you'll see it's group 5. That's pretty weak. And there's also this feature uh, lately for Bovada and Bodog. Uh, basically means you can't really uh, play any other uh, poker site while you're playing at these sites. So you'll have to click that on to make it work. Okay, so we talked before about setting up Tournament Indicator. If you go to the Views menu on the menu bar, remember you have to click Tournament Indicator first, then go to Views menu, and I might want to go to Mini View. And as you can see, Tournament Indicator has attached itself up here. And you know what? Um, some people might like this. You get your basic information uh, available to you. And you can click on player stats if you like. Just click it back. Just close it to click it back. And anytime you want to go back to the full app, you just click switch to full mode up here. And there it is. Again, not a bad feature if you're multi-tabling. You get the basic information and you're just a single click from full profile data. Another view is the vertical view. And this will attach to the side of your poker table. If you have a computer screen, that this works better for you by all means and you can switch the panels to the stats and the odd section as well so it's just a matter of personal preference but I'm gonna go back to the horizontal view we also have a player stats assistant and this is for backing up your old hand data what this allows you to do is make a backup of all of the hands generated in a tournament indicator and allows you to access them for a longer time from a direct database. So you can have a storage of these databases and you know even name them by month. And if you do that and perhaps change computers, you can bring those databases over and use this feature here to merge player data. So you're never gonna be short of profiling data if that's how intensely you wanna follow it. And you can also use the player stats tool to query a certain player. So if you end up with a, perhaps a certain player at a final table and you know you've played with them before, you can actually query any hands that you've played with him before as long as it's in your database. Really interesting stuff there if you want to get that deep into it.